WNEM TV 5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jason Fielder. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. The Marine Corps League of Saginaw Valley is raising money for multiple charities. The group of Marines hosted a fundraiser outside of Pat's Food Store in Freeland, hoping to raise as much as they can. Now, they have two fundraisers in the spring. Next week, they will be at the Kroger on State Street in Saginaw. The group wants to help support projects in the community like Little League, Eagle Scouts, the VA Hospital, and more. It's important to us personally. We served our country when we were young as service members. And now that we're older, we want to serve our community. So we still want to do the service. If you'd like to join, the group has meetings on the third Wednesday of every month. Happening tomorrow, a mid-Michigan school board member is back in court for assault and battery charges. Danielle Green pled not guilty to charges in April after being accused of assaulting another board member, Laura McIntyre, during a meeting on March 23rd. McIntyre says Green grabbed her throat, slammed her head on a table, and punched her several times. The Board of Education removed Green as president last month. Green's pretrial hearing starts at 930. Earlier today, we recognized the top students from schools across the TV5 viewing area at the Jolt Credit Union Event Center. Students like Lily Warren from Perry High School. Warren is going to attend Ohio State University on a scholarship for competitive shooting. It feels great. It feels like all of my hard work has been like recognized and I'm ready to move on with my life. We got to say congratulations to the class of 2022 and we uh, wish you the best as you continue your adventure and we are very excited to, to share your big moments. You can catch videos of these students we filmed today coming up on WNEM TV 5. Now here is John with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Jason. We're tracking your forecast as we go into tonight. Looks like we will have better rain chances returning as we go into the later evening and then especially overnight tonight. Temperature is going to stay fairly mild. We're talking low to mid 50s looking pretty good across the board. Winds will stay generally light. We'll keep that from the north and west at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. There will be the chance to see the total lunar eclipse. That's going to be pretty much right past midnight. Unfortunately, it does look like we're going to have our fair share of some cloud cover, so not might be able to see that here in mid-Michigan. However, probably going to be some live streams on social media. You might be able to see those there if we're lucky into the overnight period tonight. As we go into the day tomorrow, a little bit warmer. We're talking numbers right here near 70. There will be the chance for a shower or two early in the morning, and then as we get into the afternoon, again, a few more pop-up chances for some thunderstorms. Again, nothing too widespread. I think there will be plenty of dry time to talk about as we go into your Monday. And there it is into the seven day forecast next week. We do get another dry day Tuesday. I think the sun does return possibly a few more showers on Wednesday. Thursday looking dry as well. Possibly a bigger system on its heels as we go a late week Friday into Saturday. Could be talking about some more rain and thunderstorms then. But overall, it looks like past Saturday morning, the rest of the upcoming weekend looking dry. And the first Warren 5 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.